You do the math. 91 years, 52 of them spent in the NBA, 45 with the Los Angeles Lakers, and 20 trips to the NBA Finals. Tack on 10 championship rings, and well, that's the coaching resume of Bill Burtka. However, what he's most known for is his genuine spirit and his relentless pursuit to excel at his craft. Here's a deeper look at the 2019 Tex Winter Assistant Coach Lifetime Impact Award winner. You just told me that this is one of the most important days of your life. What's going on today? Well, to, to, to receive this kind of recognition at this stage of my life, it, it's very special. You know, basketball has been my life pretty much. It's been the architect of everything that's happened to me in my life. And, 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 and at this sort of the late date, you know, the clock is ticking at this age. So to receive this honor is, is very special. Is there even room on your mantle? I mean, going through your resume, the wins, the championships, I mean, where are you gonna put this one? <laughs> <laughs> well, basketball, as I say, has brought me many great moments in life. You know, I've been to the finals 20 times. We've won world's championships 10 times. So I've, had, I've experienced a lot of great moments, but this certainly will, this, this certainly sort of caps it off. Well, you called basketball the architect of your life, but what has it meant to you? Well, I've never, I've felt I've never really worked because basketball from the day that when I was eight years old, I always wanted to be a player. I always wanted to be a coach. I've never looked at like I've had a job where I have to report and do this and do that and wouldn't be very happy. I've been happy every day of my life that I'm involved in basketball. If you could go back, you said you have 10 championships. Is there one in particular that really sticks out to you? Yes, yes, yes there is. They were all special. But the one in particular that always has, stands out is in 1985 when we defeated the Boston Celtics in Boston Garden on the parquet floor. It, you know, it snapped. We had lost eight or nine consecutive game, uh, consecutive championships to Celtics, so it was a breakthrough for everybody involved, Jerry West, Pat Riley, uh, Bill Sharman, e everyone. Now, I see you've, you're wearing a ring right now. Which one, which one do we have on? This was our last championship. It was over the Boston Celtics in 2010. Oh, I see. I but, mean, my, why... but my favorite ring was, uh, up until this one, was 1985. It was 1985. Could you fit all 10 on there? Do you have all 10? <laughs> As you look at those rings, what do you reflect upon? Well, you always, naturally, your mind retains the pleasant aspects, but they all had a price. They all were special journeys. They weren't easy journeys. You know, there were a lot of tough, tough, tough moments to reach the pinnacle of winning a world's championship. So, but you forget those, you forget the tough part of the journey. You just remember, you know, when you were successful. What have some of those challenges through those moments taught you as a person? Oh, the, you know, overcoming all the adversities that, that come in, in the journey, whether, whether it be injuries, whether the team is fatigued, whether the team has lost, has lost focus. When you're on your way to win a, the, the top price, it becomes more difficult because of all the ancillary uh, a, 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 a attention that you, that, that you gain. And all those things sap your energy or take up your time and you, it's hard to retain the focus on what I'm trying to get done because I got that, I got that, they want this, they want that. And it, it, it increases as you, as you progress. And so that's a challenge. Who are some of the people that you've gotten congratulated by today? Congratulated? Yeah. Oh, oh naturally my wife and my daughters. <laughs> no, I have a lot of my friends in basketball. I've, re I've received so many pats on the back and people have said Bill is well deserved and I, I, I sincerely appreciate that. Well, today is all about thanking you as a basketball coach, but are there any people you'd like to thank through your journey? I'd like to thank everybody I ever worked with. I, 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 yes, I, I would like to thank the Coaches Association, 
the Coaches Association are honoring me with this award. And the Coaches Association are comprised of men who I competed against, and they're telling me, hey, Bill, you did a good job. Now that's, that's very gratifying, okay? Then I have all the great coaches that I worked with. I've been fortunate to work with some of the best, greatest coaches in, in, in the game, and all the great Hall of Fame basketball players and players who didn't make the Hall of Fame. I cherish the time that I spent with them. I imagine a lot of people come to you seeking advice. What's the best piece of advice you could give? I, th I, I, I think I always used to use the example that I don't care what job you have, I don't care what job you have, try to become the best at that, at that job that you can. As you progress in your life, you gain different, different positions. And when you get to that position, you be the best at that position. Try to just keep progressing. Your attitude is always to get better. And, and, and performance speaks. Performance speaks rather than trying to talk your way that you can do this and do that. Show people, show people. Actions speak louder than words.